Namaste programs. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Ship blows up. Probe goes off. Uh, this is loop 24. Uh, it could actually be 25, but I think we're going with 24. We miscounted in one of the episodes, but we're rolling with it. We're just going. It doesn't really matter. It's just a number. I'm grabbing my suit because here's what we're doing. At the end of the last one, we just talked to Hornfields. And in a, trying to finish that loop off the recording, when I wasn't recording, I had a little look around here, and I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a look around Timber Half. What I'm looking for, though, is I saw there's a little mine area around here. So yeah, this uh, Timber Half seems to have sort of stuff in the center of the planet, and sort of little mines and things, I think. Unidentified signal. That's interesting. Ah, it's one of these rocks. It's one of these rocks. Grove shard. Okay. Well, let's see it. Oh, there it is again. It's just moved over there now. Is this guys are always going, or can I try to sneak in? Let's try and sneak in. Because it's actually water under here. All right. This is what we wanted. Where's the way to go though? Let's have a look over here. No, that's a one way, so we're going to have to go over to this one. Oh, it's also mysterious. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So I, I found this, but I didn't look at anything, because I wanted to do it, obviously, on the recording. Here we go. Coleus, after closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of these cave pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. Okay. Hi, Cat. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about Site 2B? It shares similar formations and strata. Onio, this sounds promising. Would you and your mentor investigate? If mining Site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. Hi, Cat. Site 2B is safe. Colia says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on the life here. Okay. Colia, on the opposite hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. Okay. Hi, Cat. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped from me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. Oh, yes. They remind me of a subterranean species that my mentor Malore once told me about from when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. All right. Interesting. And then we've got some kind of little four-eyed things being watched by... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. All of that's going nuts. Where to now? No, 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 I didn't want to go up. I don't want to go up. Please. 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 Not going up. I want to go over here. That's where I came from, perhaps? I'm not sure. Yes, perhaps. Yeet. Where is this taking me? Could this be a site to be? Or not to be? We've got what was once a little camp or something. Interesting. Nothing to see here, though. Okay. Right. Nothing in this little area. What about up here? Yeah, no pushing, no pushing. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you be pushing me? Ah, yes, these are the big geysers. Can I now get back in here? Yes. Could be fine because it's water. Sweet. There we go. And we continue. No! <laughs> They're going to push me every time. What is the timing on this? And yeet. Back down we go. And try to avoid that one. Yes, we made it. We made it. Oh, ah. Very dark looking cave. Is this where we started, perhaps? No. Unknown. I think it, it does look a bit familiar. I think this is going to take us to site 2B, isn't it? Or 2A, was it? Whichever, whichever site it was. Yeah, I think we've done the full loop here. We have. We have. Look at that. We have done the full loop. So let's, uh, let's hope one of these takes us up some point let's just go up ourselves there's something up here no i can't i need to wait for the uh here we go push me up guys oh, thank you what's this boom oh we've got a door we've got a, a passageway through there i think we do the door don't we we do the door let's find out what's here to be or not to be to be what do we got? What's that? Turn out like oh, interesting. We've got we've got all sorts of know my shit going on. Okay, dead peoples. 
I wonder why they all dived in place. So there must have been some kind of disaster that they went through as well. Okay. All right. What do we got here? Onio. Oeno. I'm still amazed at how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Kaikad, isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, Oeno. On no, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. Fucking yes. Polius, I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber hearths or only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. I can't. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned accordingly. Lal. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Colius. Colius, how else would he improve? Right. Yeah, okay, good. That's what we want. We want some information about how to get in. So that proves we can't get in. They've put a they've put a core. They've put a thing around the core. Oh, where does that go? Okay, all right. But how do we then get into the Astrin project? I guess that's the whole point of the game. At least this first section of it. It's taken 10 hours. Okay, you're right. More of these things. Ash Twin. It's always Ash Twin. So let's find out what it's got to say. Beautiful, beautiful. Yarrow, my gratitude for the latest shipment, Onio. Oh, no, I can't say that. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Own. Oreno, this is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Yarrow, we'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest floral opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Yarrow, once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. Okay, good to know. Good to know. And this will let me see the inside of the Ash Twin again. So I just wonder. I can sort of move around a bit. Can I turn a torch on? I can't. I wonder what this is all about. I can sort of see that there's like some platforms up there or something. But I don't know what it all means. What does it mean? What does it all mean? Um, let's keep going down. See what's down here. So we've got just stuff over there. Is that where I came in? Probably where I came in. I don't know why I'm carrying this around, but you know, why not? That was here. Yeah, that's where I came in down there. So where else could this? Oh, not what I wanted. But we're gonna we're gonna go with it. We'll get onto this geyser. Try and drop down here. There we go. That's where I came in. But there's some platforms down this way. For what reason, I wonder? Yeah. So look, you know that that is what the core was made of the El Nash twin I said it was sort of covered in stars but here it is covered in stars so what would I want to be doing here why would this take me anywhere interesting takes me to there and then back up to the top here why though for what reason for what purpose that's where we were over there so if we found everything we need to here I think we might have just want to walk down into the water here see if there's anything useful down here We've got big cores that they've taken out. Any of them have anything interesting inside them? You know, like, uh, do they go somewhere? Doesn't look like it. It's all just a bit of flavor. Anything else down here? No, doesn't look like it. I guess this is just how they got the cores out. Am I potentially going to need some more of this? In which case, yeah, I'd have to somehow... It's gradually taking ore out of this one here. But is it finished taking ore? Yes, it has. Yeah. So this is just uh, the mechanism. It's not anything to explore. It's just this is how they got the ore out. Hmm, interesting. Maybe that becomes important later. I don't know. Maybe we go back in time to all the way back to the, the Nomai and then we have to rebuild Ash Twin or something because that's what we're learning. We've learnt how they built Ash Twin, but what we aren't learning is what to do about it. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Great. That's just grand. Did I get into it? I oh, did. Nice. Let's just yeet ourselves over here. Cool. Refuel. There we go. We're out. We're out. We've got this projection stone. Don't know why. Fascinating. Okay, so I think we found what we needed to find on Timber Hearth. What else would there be on this planet? Let's have a look up here. I just think this is probably the, the way down if you're just wandering the planet from above. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, big waterfall, big waterfall. What else have we got around here? I need some more fuel. 
Oh, ghost matter. Oh shit. Oh shit. There it is, right on top of me. Right. So, get our thing. Where is it? Why? Why is there ghost matter here? Oh, you can tell that ghost matter has always got this shit on the ground as well. Right, right, right. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. How do we get out of here now? I've got no fuel. Not even. I can't use fuel to uh, oxygen to move around either. Oh, for God's sakes, game. Really? It comes to this? It comes to this? Alright, I guess we kill ourselves. I guess we kill ourselves because we're stuck. Cool. We've learned some stuff. We're going to go read our log and maybe do another uh, do another loop. I think now that I've looked at all of that, I want to go back to Brutal Hollow and, yeah, explore near the ship. There was a vine that somehow I was meant to go in. I went in it, but I didn't see anything. But there must have been a, a, a tunnel that I didn't see. So we're going to go do that. Loop 25, ship blows up, probe goes off. Well, let's go read our log. We've learnt some stuff. Uh, again, we've learnt some interesting information about how it was all put together by the Nomai, but not what we're supposed to do about it. Oh, Quantum Grow. So, Ash Twin Project. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely slick, thick protective shell. Okay, well, good. I figured that out again. I've... Uh, I know that, because I went and looked at it. Though my mind or from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. The Nomai discovered a species of four-eyed semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mines. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Nothing else? Oh, this over here. It was this. Quantum Grove. There's a strange rock shard in this grove that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal on the quantum fluctuations. A frequency. Cool. All right. Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow again. Not Brittle Hollow. Dark Bramble. God. Wrong one. You know what I meant. Getting very close to the sun. Making me nervous. Autopilot. I think we made it. I think we're okay. Oh, and we've got the Quantum Moon on the outside of it. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's go Quantum Moon. Oh, no. It disappeared while I was going to the camera. That's interesting. If you try want to land on it, you probably just have to, you know, plow into it, and not go to the uh, the landing camera. I did suspect it wouldn't be that easy. Now I don't think we need to send the ship in. I'll just go on foot. Where's a good place to land? I think over here somewhere. It doesn't really look like there's anything on any of these other little bits of planet. It's all on the inside. Here we go. This is a nice place to land, I reckon. Get blimp. Suit up. Get down, get down, get down. Let's head in. Let's head in. Get our signal scope. We're looking for Feldspar. Which one is he? Is this one? All right. I think we're on course here. We're on course. We also need to see where this orange light goes. We started exploring that uh, that one time we came in here, but uh, we got eaten. So, um, yeah. Let's do this first. Maybe we can come back this way. Let's go say hi to Feldsparian. Come in for a landing. Nice. Anything to say? Let me guess. Anglerfish? Hey, you got it in one. Kind of hard not to once you've seen one of those fish up close and personal like. Well, take a load off and refill the oxygen tank and put your fire to go around. Nothing else of any interest. All right, so we come over here and find the ship. We must be able to get into this uh, vine here, is what you're telling me. So, let's see. Pretty dark in. Oh, yes, you can. Right, I didn't see this at all. Have I got my torch on? I do. It's not really useful, though. Let's find out where this goes. If we can control our, our dude in any kind of reasonable manner. Now, he said this was the clue to how he got into Giant Steep. So I guess he followed a vine to the, the center. But here's the thing. Why would I want to go into the center of Giant Steep? There must be some reason for that, right? Are we on the ground here? We have ground, do we? Oh, okay. Kind of. Don't know what's going on here. Where are we now? What's going on? Where are we? This is freaky. What the fuck is that? Play recording. Trip four, entry number, I'm going to say not one. Crashes three, boring crashes zero, a personal best. Whoa, -ho, I never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant Steep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Ah, this is the clue. 
Blech, this thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by the electricity. Right, I'm going inside this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what's, if what's in there tastes any better. What the fuck? Feldspar. Am I going to get zapped here? Yeah, I did see one of these on uh, Giant Steep, didn't I? Anything to see around here? What's down here? Who the fuck knows? What's with the jellyfish? All right, so we need to go inside the jellyfish, maybe? Can we go inside the jellyfish? We can sort of go inside the jellyfish? What the fuck? Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love Feldspar. So, insulation from electricity. Which would be good if I could use it somehow. Because, yeah, what? For Feldspar's ship, maybe? Is there something on Giant's Deep that, uh... Seems to be it. That seems to be it. So, again, we've learned some stuff. We've learned that we can insulate ourselves from electricity. But we don't know why. What? Why, you know... I feel like this would be a aha moment. It's like, oh, well, I was looking for something to insulate me from electricity. You know, maybe to get into Feldspar's ship, but let's drop down here, see where it takes us. Oh, we are like literally back outside. Can I get to my ship then? I think we're done with, uh, we're done with Dark Bramble and land. Nice. Beautiful. Just as we're about to run out of everything. Okay, cool. So, what have we learnt? Stuff that, don't know. Don't know what for. Frozen jellyfish. Felspar documented their attempts to eat this enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Felspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better on the inside. After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Felspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Hooray. Hooray. Okay. Thank God we learned that, right? What do we need it for? Let's see if we can find Giant's Deep. We've got to uh, see that. There it is. Not far away. Uh, autopilot, you're going to crash me into uh, Dark Bramble? Really? Oh, the dodge. The dodge. There's still plenty to look at on um, Brittle Hollow as well. And yeah, there's the observatory there. There's that quantum rock. There's, well, there's just shit everywhere, isn't there? I uh, don't know where the rest of this broken ship stuff is. Maybe we have to somehow follow that probe. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, I think that originally there were four islands on Giant's Deep as well. I don't think we've, we've done all of them. We've done, we've done, there's a jellyfish island. Maybe we have done all of them. And splash into the water. Ah, so there's electricity down there. That's why you can't get into Giant's Deep is what you're telling me. Yeah. Okay, so this is what island? Have we been here? Have we been here? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is where, um, yeah, this is where what's his face is, you know, on this planet. All right, uh, there's another island over here. Ooh, what's it got? Some kind of barrier. Oh, I've never seen this island before. All right, is this a landing pad? Nice. See what we've got. Make sure we've got health and fuel full. Hello. Have we been here before? Maybe we have. I don't know. It's been a long time since we were in uh, Giant's Deep. Have we seen? Yeah, we have. And uh, yeah, these hold me. I've decided watching the edit ages ago. These probably hold me uh, if the tornado comes. Oh, maybe we haven't been here. Maybe we haven't been here. Let's find out. Pick up scroll. Come on. What do we got? Cassava. This is it. We finished building the orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the Orbital's probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Daz, are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they are atypical for you. Kasava, if I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Evans but behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the Orbital probe cannon. Daz, if I know my brother Evans and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. Daz, I propose we give Evans and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Ah, yes, we did have that conversation up on the ship. There's the ship. This is the construction yard. Oh, okay, yeet. All right, we'll go along here. Maybe there's some reason we want to get to... The center of the planet maybe that's where the probe has gone or something control module projection stone just be careful that this tornado is not going to come and wreck my life 
Slava, I have bad news, Evans. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannot work you asked to fire. Evans, I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. Kasava, I wish I were my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Evans, an update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears idea may feel responsible. Okay. 14 minutes, 14 seconds ago, a long-range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon. Yeah, it did. So let's see if we can find where the... Well, I know where the control module is. I've been there. I've been up here. Yeah, I definitely have. Uh oh, tornado. Tornado. Need to get to the the tornado savers. That's what this does. Yes. Yes. We're in space. This will hopefully save us. Flash. Well, not yet. Splash. Yeah, figured that out watching an edit ages ago. I just haven't needed it before. Oh, even more water? Even more water? What's going on? Um, alright. Let's, uh, so we did that. Let's continue this way. Is that another tornado? Already. That's what we just did, right? Yes. So let's go and have a look at this platform over here. Splash. Brittle hollow projection stone. Right, so we're gonna have to... Oh no, I forgot, you can't do that on this planet. It's too heavy. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's a brittle hollow, hmm, that's interesting. Let's, um, hang on, where was I reading everything? Up over here, over here. Brittle hollow. Kasava, Kono, Daz and I were lifting orb orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and the one, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Daz, Connor, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Daz, Kasava convinced me to do not, not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? Kono, my gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spy constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at the Brutal Hollow Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Kasava, Konoi, I'm un unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? Konoi, if you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. Right, so again, I'm finding information about stuff uh, after I need it, kind of thing, almost. Let's see, Brittle Hollow, Southern Observatory, no doubt. Wow, so they're the models. Okay, so the Southern Observatory is going to tell me how to get into the core of Giant's Deep. But, I guess to find that part that went down. But why? But why? I don't actually know why. Anything else to look at? No, I think we've done it all. So let's get back to our ship. Go see the other, um, other island on this, whatever you call it. Island? Planet? Okay, yeah, that holds my ship in. That holds my ship in. Refuel jetpack. Let's go. Yeah, yeet. And we want to go to this. And we want to find the other island. There's another one here somewhere. There we are. Bramble Island. That's what we're looking for. Got to be careful of ghost matter. Yeah, okay. So we've got to go to the left. Yeah, yeet ourselves over like that. And this was way back right at the beginning we were here. We've got ghost matter there. And here, how do I get to this jellyfish then? Not easily, apparently. Around here, maybe? Yeah, okay. Trees detected. Play recording. Yeah, yeah, this is, you just got filled spot. I've already seen this one. This is what we found way back at the beginning. I wonder what Doze Off does. Maybe we can find out. Refuel jetpack. How do I get into the jellyfish, though? Questions must be asked. They insulate from electricity. I can't climb up there. There's ghost matter here. Can't get past it, I don't think. No. If that's possibly the way in? Dunno, dunno. What about over here? Not really. What oh my god. It killed me. We did. Right. So even trying to Dunno what that don't know what killed me there. Don't know what killed me there. That was loop twenty-five! I think we've learnt some stuff. We're going to probably have to go back to um, Brittle Hollow now. Keep exploring that. We've got to try and get into the Quantum Moon area. We've got to go to the Southern Observatory. There's a, a gravity cannon as well. 
that's all for the next episode of Outer Wilds. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir. Goodbye. <laughs>